I hope you all are enjoying the learning experience with our Scholars Learning app. And if you are not, then please download our Scholars Learning app. In this video, we will be studying how to find out the producer's equilibrium with TR and TC approach in general market. I told you in my previous video that we have two markets in this. That is number one is perfect competition market and the second one is general market which includes your monopoly, monopolistic, oligopoly markets, right? So, your TR and TC approach to find out the producer's equilibrium. See, I told you what is the producer's equilibrium. The producer is at its equilibrium when it maximizes its profit. Profit, we do not profit by pi. So when the he maximizes profit. So when the difference between your what is your profit? It is the difference between TR and TC. So when the difference between TR and TC is maximum. At that point, your consumer is at its equilibrium and it's that simple. But when the question comes in your CBC board, you do not write this. Because it's simple to understand but it's difficult to present on the answer sheet. Now let's see how to present your answer in the answer sheet so that you guys you can score good marks on that. Let us take a table that is output 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 let us take the total revenue that is 0 4 7 9 10 10 and 9 let us take your total cost that is 3 5 6 7 9 12 and 13 right so let's calculate your profit from this Revenue is nothing, total cost is 3. Why is total cost is 3? Because your total cost includes your variable cost plus your fixed cost. You will incur your fixed cost in any situation even if you produce your zero output. Right? So this is the reason your total cost is 3 here. So it is minus 3, then it's minus 1, then it's 1, 2, again 1, then 10 minus 2, it's... 2 19 minus 2. it's 9 minus it's 18 it is minus 9 we have right so what we'll do is we'll plot this on a graph again we have to make a parallel graphs for the same In this graph we will take output, here also we will take output, here we will take your TR and TC, here we will take your profit. Let's draw on the scale of, let's say 2, let's draw it on the scale of. 2 won't be perfect. Let's take on the scale of 4. 4, 8, 12, and 16, and then 20. Right. Your quantities are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Same make the parallel graphs otherwise you won't get the accurate and the right answer please 
Let's take it on the scale of 2. It's 2, 4, 6. Here you can take minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, and so on. Right? Let's plot the points now. Your TR. First, we will draw TR. 0, 0, at 1, it's 4. At 2, it's 7. At 3, it's 9. At 4, it's 10. At 5, it's 10. At 6, it's 9. So, this is your total revenue curve. Now, let's take the second is your total cost. See, your total cost at 0 is 3, somewhere here. At 1, it is 5, somewhere here. At 2, it's 6. At 3, it's 7. At 3, it is 7, somewhere here. At 2, it was. Sorry, at 2, it was. 6. So 6 is somewhere here, not here. The 7 is there. 4 at 4, it was 9. 9 is somewhere here. Again, it was 12. 12 is here. And at 6, it is 18 somewhere here. So, when we plot your graph, it is this way. Right? So, now what they say is draw the tangents on both of these. Draw the tangent. Let's draw here one tangent. Let's draw here one tangent. See, the maximum difference we get at the three units that is 2 rupees of profit. So, you will have profit here. So this is your maximum profit at point 3. And this is how you represent your graph. And now let's plot the profit. At 0 it's minus 3. Somewhere here. At 1 it is minus 1. Somewhere here. At 2 it's 1. At 3 it's 2. That is maximum. At 4, again it's 1. At 5, it's minus 2. At 6, it's minus 9. So you can take it here. So this is your profit. And it is maximum when you draw the two tangents on your TR and TC curve. That is point, you know, point number 3. Right, so at output 3, you have the maximum profit and this is the point of equilibrium. So, the consumer is at its equilibrium at unit 3. If he produces 3 units of the commodity, then he will have the maximum profit, he will be at its equilibrium. Now understand the explanations. Number one, see your TR was zero when the output was zero. If you are producing nothing, if you are producing zero, then what revenue you will get? Will you be able to sell something? Sell something? No. So the total revenue will be zero in that case. The second point we have is total cost starts 
from some point on y axis that is 3 in our example just because even if no no output is produced there will be some fixed cost that will be incurred so in this case your total cost never goes to zero the third point we have here is the distance between TRTC curve is measured by drawing tangents right distance between TR and TC is measured by drawing tangents and when the tangents are parallel then the distance is maximum and at that unit units of output your profit is maximum So this was your total revenue and total cost which was nothing but a very simple that how you will give your example perfectly just give the example when your TR is increasing then your TR is increasing at decreasing rate then your TR is equal to each other then your TR starts decreasing the same goes with your total cost right so give the perfect example then only you will have the perfect graphs the shape of the graphs will be same as I made make sure you take the example accurately and in this way you will be able to find out the producers equilibrium using TR and TC approach in the journal market I hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with